What do college kids today think of the portrayal of college parties in film and TV over the decades? Are parties still the same today? Are they accurate? We asked nine college kids to watch various clips to find out. This is College Kids React, presented by Epic Night. I came in the game. A wise man once told me, Oh my god, I love this show! Everyone has their thing. Ronish. Everyone has their thing. I didn't know what he was talking about at the time, but it was so true. Hey, <laughs> I know what that is. For college kids who like to party, the baseline is beer. I've never seen a keg at a party. The baseline is beer, weed, questionable jello shots. Okay. They love their Oxy, their Vico, their Nozo, There's, you know. What are these things? Then there's people who do Molly. I dabble. I like a nice buzz, but I don't get like white girl wasted. <laughs> but the tricky part to having a thing was knowing how to balance it all. True. <laughs> it's pretty accurate, um, especially like the, with the drug use. Usually the room's like darker and mustier. Everyone's kind of got their own thing that they like to do at these parties. I've never seen the harder stuff out there. This is 10,000% accurate. There's like different people that do different substances. So I love how like she kind of incorporated that because I feel like a lot of people think that, oh, college kids just do everything. You know, you just like dabble in it all. No, you pretty much like stick to your little areas. So since we have all college kids in this episode, we want to show a variety of college party scenes from college films throughout the decades and get some of your thoughts. Okay, that should be interesting. I wonder how it changed. The added reason we're making this episode is because FB has a new scripted interactive series called Epic Night that takes place on the last night of college. I do know the show because I'm in the show. I was a part of it, I was in it, I was in it with my girlfriend, my girlfriend Tori, we were both in it, and we were playing a couple, so it was really easy. We were like method acting. And we're actually gonna have you play some of it later in the episode. Okay, FBE leveling up. I actually haven't had the chance to like play through it just yet, so that'll be actually really cool. See if I can get, see if I can find me in it. The screen jumps for joy with Brendan Swarthout. Whoa! Story of those of Where are the boys Easter are? Vacation. Oh wow, this yeah. is old. Inside story of those uproarious Easter vacation. Spring break, baby. The city of Fort Lauderdale is once again under fire from the north. Now, from the north. In Palm Springs and in things literally haven't changed. The Mid Atlantic, <laughs> the students of America are gathering to celebrate the rites of spring. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Join the fun as the gang tears loose where the boys are. I've never been to a party where someone's lifted a car. This is probably the spring break that we all imagine we want to have, and then spring break rolls around and you remember that you're broke. Everything's the same, that's so crazy. It's like a human thing, like we just want to turn up. I grew up in Mexico, and we would get all the spring breakers coming to my little Rosarito, Tijuana town, and trashing the whole place. Time and culture can change, but the things people have used to have fun, like alcohol, that is the same alcohol. Animal House, all right. Creepy, very, very creepy. Oh, this looks like a toga party. Oh, I love this song. This is a party I would love to be in. This seems so much fun. No one's grinding. Everyone's just singing the lyrics. This is like parents weekend. Music's a little different. <laughs> a little different. Live bands are so dope. Like this is so cool. I would die to be at this party right now. Uh, Belushi. Oh. I'm cringing. Don't understand who first looked at a bed sheet and they were like, I've got a theme for a party. I've never been to a party like that, okay? But maybe it's because I, I'm not part of Greek life. It's so true. If, if you've ever been part of a frat, I've never have, but all my friends that were in frats, at least once a year, there's a toga party. Oh, Revenge of the Nerds. If there was like a name for my Instagram page, it would be Revenge of the Nerds. Because like I used to be a nerd and like I'm getting those apologies from all the people in my high school. Okay, okay, okay. The way everybody's dressed is really interesting. Hi. Hi. Very 80s. Oh my god, their outfits. Oh yikes, he did not expect this crowd to roll in. He's happy though. Hi. A lot of girls. Hi. <laughs> Honestly, they look like they're ready to party. <laughs> There are like 10 people at this party. Oh yes, uh-huh, work king. <laughs> Bro, 
buttoned up. <laughs> there isn't a crop top in sight. We sure can party. Never seen that. I feel like movies think that a lot more dancing happens at parties than does. There's no just nerds, just jocks. It, a lot of people think it's cool to be a nerd, so a lot of jocks are into nerdy stuff. Everything kind of blended together, and now it's just who you like, who you enjoy hanging out with, which is so much better. Oh. What's up, babes? Pack up your rape culture and take a hike. Yes. That's me, I'm that friend. Uh, you want a brew dog? We're not interested in your penis. I think he's offering us a beer. Um, <laughs> we would like a beer. Okay. Give me a beer. Come on. She said, yeah. <laughs> it's like if you're nice to them, they bring you things. Exactly. <laughs> that is so good. Uh, a lot of frat people get a lot of shit too, like oh, like they're rapey or they're just trying to drug you and stuff. And I actually met a lot of like. Good like frat guys who aren't like rude. The stigma of always like people thinking they're horrible is not cool either. It seemed very relevant to, the, to today and the conversations that we're having today. Now more than ever, people are tired of just sitting back and letting it happen, and so now we're more outspoken about it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I appreciate. Old school. Oh, I love Will Ferrell. Such a classic. I told my wife I wouldn't drink tonight. His wife. Guys, I got a big day tomorrow, but, but you guys have a great time. A big day. You're doing what? Well, um, <laughs> actually, pretty nice little Saturday. We're uh, we're gonna go to Home Depot. Yeah, buy some wallpaper. I feel like that's what I'm turning into as Something I'm like getting that. older. Maybe Bed Bath & Beyond, I don't know. I don't know if we'll have enough time. <laughs> <laughs> if I were in this situation, I'd be like, sweet, sounds like a good day. Like, I feel like people don't care if you don't want to get drunk that much. Give me that thing. I'll do one. I'll do one. People, I'll do one. That is the most dangerous thing to see, to say. I'll do one. Yeah. Get it, Will? Like, why would you want to drink something through a funnel? Yeah. Oh my god! Now, I've definitely seen that before. I may or may not have partaked in way too many beer bongs. <laughs> Look at him, he's a hero. We've all been there. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna have one drink. I'm just gonna have, like, one little drink. And then fast forward to like 4 a.m. I'm passed out in my bathroom. Now that we're getting more and more recent years, it's starting to look more and more like parties today. And it's cool because you're looking back on all these generations. I wonder what other generations are gonna look back and look at us. So as promised, you're now going to be playing a part of FB's interactive series that takes place on the last night of college, Epic Night. Epic Night will be exclusively on Echo where there are hundreds of ways your night can go down and a dozen variables on the ending and you are the one in control of it all. Super fun. I love choose your own adventure games. It's Martin's last night of college. Let's go, Martin. He's just trying to have a great night with his best friend, Lillis. And hey, that's my voice! <laughs> when Whoa. it pops up on your screen like this one, you make a decision. I will! Your I will, Tom! Will your decisions will determine the fate of his friendships and how his night will end. Oh, shoot. <laughs> this seems like a lot of pressure. Will you help Martin kiss the girl? Dance with his best buds? Kiss the girl. sad and alone. Or someplace unexpected. Unexpected! Ready to start Martin's night? There's so many choices. Yeah. It's like I'm Martin. Ooh, okay, I'm doing it. Start. Oh my god, I'm so nervous, Martin. I hope I make the right choices for you. I mean, I didn't think she was the one, you know? Just like I could see us adopting a dog together one day. I don't know, I feel like she led me on. Am I being crazy? Are you even listening to me? No. I'm over here describing the peaks and valleys of my uh, emotional land. No, because I'm honest. What, I'm not listening to you. this video again? Uh, I wasn't listening. Okay, but- It's true. You guys are graduating tonight? This is graduation night? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, you guys are gonna have such a good time. It's gonna be such a big night. Every choice you make tonight will determine <laughs> the rest of your lives. Ah. Uh, choices you make. Hey. Decisions matter. Oh, okay. I know she'll be at Zaya tonight. She got a ticket weeks ago. Maybe we could swing by, check it out, maybe snag some tickets ourselves. Who are you, Sexton? Uh, hmm. Uh, it's not My a dad. Martin. He doesn't need to know. You won't believe this. Check this out. One second. Um, oh, uh, should we stay or go? Stay or go? Uh, 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 go! Why didn't we get tickets to Zaya Fest? Because they go to Zaya. No, oh, you, you can get resale tickets. Do something, because I'm not staying here all night. Handle it. We can find some tickets. Go to the festival. 
Share her up. Uh, uh, she seems so lame hanging here the entire night. No, I need to dance too. I need to be mm -hmm, one with you. Mm -hmm. We all deserve that, Brightly. You deserve it. I'm on it. But also they can just dance. Yeah, they can just dance where they are. Hello, my children. Well, there it is. Hey. Shookity, shook, shook, oh. shook. There she is. Owie. Wow. Is that that girl from Pretty Little Liars? Oh, sorry. I have crystals in my bra. Oh. Have wow. you seen Shook? I can't find her. Uh, <gasps> she's here, she's I know where to look. Uh, come on. She's in there like a moth to a flame. So, painting people's I know that we can find some of my friends in this. So we're going to follow Jess. Hey guys! Oh my god! The woman who did this to you. Erica Tori! Yeah. Look at it, that's me. How lucky are we? Uh, I mean, pretty lucky. Yeah, so. So when you lucky, see the perspective um, of them talking, it's from our eyes. <laughs> In our dreams. That's me. I was stoned. This my character was stoned. Here. She went that way. No, it was definitely that way. No, babe, her, I their friend went that way. I saw her go through here because she did this and then she went that way. Right, she didn't mention <laughs> that way. That's oh, no, I, I, yeah, really good luck. Thank you. you. My mom hates you. Wow. Whoa! Oh, the so truth cool. comes out! Originally, um, it was just supposed to end with me being like, she went that way. And then they like follow that way, but they wanted us to fight. So we just started saying words. And at one point, Tori just goes, my mom hates you. And they went, cut, perfect. That face paint with it. When she's baked out of her mind. Let's let's check the bookshelf. Are you guys serious? Yes, because she's gonna go anyways. Oh, she didn't. Oh. oh. She's a little bit sassy. Let's check the bookshelf. Are you guys serious? Am I blocking him? Uh, They're smoking in here. Have you guys seen a woman? I knew it. Looks like. It's a stoner room. Oh, no. Good. I swear, this is so okay. accurate. Oh my god. Okay. Every party has a room like this. And she looked a little sad. This guy's on a lot more than marijuana. Hey, have you guys seen Shook? No. Hey, that guy looks familiar. Do you guys want to go bowling? Uh, we're good. Thanks, though, Rufus. Oh, God, he's going by himself. What's that? <laughs> yes, Rufus. What, what the f is a thinking place? It's a meditation tent. It's behind the aquatic center. Oh. Look, it kind of looks like she's at Tacos 2, baby. We should go check there first. Well, mm -hmm. why don't we just split up and check both? Okay, well, I'm checking the thinking place. There's a vote for tacos. I'm voting taco. Uh, ah, 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 ah. Go, Jess. Got to stick to what I've been... Oh, look at her. She wants him to go with her so bad. Okay, I made the right choice. Seriously, dude? Bye, Lele. Oh, he should be like, wait, guys, wait up. I'll come with you. This was shot like really, really well, like really well. Like I feel like I was watching a Netflix original type thing. It's crazy to be like so invested in the story because you're in the story. It's like you are the main character. It was a fun experience um, getting to play Rufus. You get to see him throughout the show as well. It was fun to, to like be in this project. It's fun to see how you know, the paths diverge from one another. So that was just one of four episodes, but all are available now on Echo. Oh, I'm about to go play. Where your choices will impact how the night ultimately goes. Entertainment is always evolving. A lot of people now are like wanting to kind of put themselves into their games, into their shows. And I think it's like definitely gonna be on the rise. And I love that we're one of the first ones to do it. Finally, most of these films and TV shows dealt with the stereotypes of what people think of when they think of college parties. How did your college party experience stack up to the college parties that you typically see on TV and film? Um, I think that my college party experience was a lot different than what I was expecting and what I'd seen in the media. I was a little disappointed with the parties that I'd gone to. It's so much more like hanging out and less like an event. It's just hanging out with your friends and being loud because you've got the chance to be loud. College portrayed in TV and film is typically very stereotypical where no one's gonna have that same exact experience. I feel like everyone that's been through the college experience knows that. And it's weird that TV writers and stuff forget that. You know, like, did they ever go to a party? Hi guys, it's JC, producer at FB. Did you enjoy watching Epic Night? Then make sure to go play it yourself and be in control over on Echo. All the links are gonna be down below. Check them out and help support us. Bye guys.